Hello folks, how are you today? It's Mark here and I uh, wanted to reach out to everyone and give you uh, just a little insight, uh, real uh, world learning here that I have been uh, using with wonderful success uh, on one of my clients and I want to reach out and I want to thank somebody very special. Her name is Brittany Oat and she works with be social strategy and she's out of um scotland and we are working together on this project and what we wanted to do on this project i'm just going to give you a little backstory before i introduce exactly what's going on what we wanted to do on this project was figure out a way to have marketing support sales and to have sales feedback insights to marketing which is of course, what everybody wants, right? However, if you ask folks, and you could ask folks at a Fortune 500 company, and you could ask folks with 10 people who are working for them, including one marketing person and one salesperson, and I can virtually guarantee you that every one of these organizations will say the same thing, that sales doesn't work with marketing, sales doesn't listen to marketing marketing doesn't listen to sales they're like two ships in the night and things are horribly horribly inefficient so back to our story Brittany oat working with be social strategy out of the uk is working with me on this startup and uh, launching a brand new edtech product very cool stuff called eglass and we want to have marketing support sales and Brittany said one day, she says, I've got a great idea that I've been using with some of my other clients. What's that, Brittany? It's called the smarketing meeting. I said, what's a smarketing meeting? And smarketing is sales and marketing smushed together. So here's what we did. We made time at the middle of every week where salespeople and marketing people would come on the phone or come on a Zoom call. There was no exceptions. It was the rule you had to come on, especially the head person of sales and Brittany working in marketing. And what happened was kind of a weekly free for all. What's going on in selling? Where are the problems? Where are the obstacles? What marketing materials are working? What isn't working? Huh? What do we know in marketing? What's the future hold? Where are you going to be selling next? Can you tell us more about that? Have you met any prospect who might make for good testimonials because you know testimonials are the ultimate form of marketing so what happened was we started having these sort of free-for-all meetings they went 30 to 45 minutes every wednesday and they're continuing to do so and they have given us incredible ideas as far as marketing goes they have made everybody feel like they're heard and they have given sales some wonderful support now, I'll give you an example of what wonderful support looks like. There are certain people, certain prospects in certain areas who are very, very valuable. This is the same with every client, especially when you're talking about B2B. So how do you more effectively speak to those people? How do you target them? Where do you find them? Well, that's something that marketers can do really, really well. And the beauty of that, especially when you're doing digital marketing, is that when a salesperson walks in the room, the person that they're speaking to, the prospect goes, oh yeah, I've already heard about you. That's marketing doing its job. So anyways, I don't want to belabor the point, but I do know that I have come up against this challenge every single time I've worked with a client where there's more than a few people working for the company. Sales and marketing say they want to work together, but somehow they just never manage to do it. And there are incredibly, uh, incredible opportunities lost when they don't work together. Not only that, but there are, it's, it's a lot easier, I find, to come up with great ideas if other people are giving them to you. And that is another strong point of the marketing meeting. The marketing meeting, the sales folks say, hey, I talked to so-and-so and I heard from such and such, and they said this and they said that, and we go, holy smokes, that's an idea for a campaign. This is an idea for a campaign. How can we get these people telling us more about what they want to see in a campaign? I got to tell you, it is magical when this thing works. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope that it helps if you're working for a company, large or small, and you suspect 
that sales feels underappreciated and isn't getting the support they want, marketing is running out of ideas for helping sales, you can solve this problem in the same way that Brittany Oat did for us by creating a marketing meeting once a week, getting sales and marketing together to swap ideas, complain, figure out where opportunities are and where challenges are, and then get to work and next week see what the result was. All right, I hope that's helpful. Go out there and make some great brands and let me know your own marketing ideas. I'd love to hear them. Take care.